Hello everyone, and welcome back to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. So, in the last episode, I announced that the new book was going to be The 101 Dalmatians by Dodie Smith, uh, and then Dog Ear ran away. So, that's strange. Dog Ear is missing, and he is still missing, but we have Nathan one day on the server. I'm going to go find him in a bit. However, uh, speaking of Dog Ear, I'm actually not sure what kind of a breed Dog Ear is of dog. He's definitely not a Dalmatian, though. Uh, but that brings us to the word of the episode. I'm going to do it straight away in this episode. Uh, word 47 is going to be mongrel. And that means a dog of an indeterminable breed. Uh, and indeterminable means that you can't determine uh, something. So if you can't tell what a dog it is, uh, another word for this would be like mutt or mongrel. Uh, Paige happens to be a mongrel. And Molly... I would say Molly is a mongrel because she's not too, she's not like one specific dog breed, but I'm pretty sure she is a beagle mixed with a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So kind of know what she is. Uh, but anyway, Cruella de Vil uh, calls the Dalmatians this. Uh, she meets Pongo and, uh, and misses, I almost said Perdita, but you have to remember in the book version, the 101 Dalmatians, she's not named Perdita. She's named Mrs. M-I-S-S-I-S. Uh, she meets them and she, uh, she is liking the fact that they're black and white because she has black and white hair and she also has a black and white car. Uh, anyway, don't forget to send your Bookcraft Banner uh, ideas. If you send it to me on Twitter, use hashtag Bookcraft Banner. We need a banner for the 101 Dalmatians to hang right here in the Hall of Books. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead. Did I grab some fish? Yes, I did. I've got some cooked fish from my days at the lake at Hatchet. I actually need an axe. I'm not really sure. Uh, that's ironic. What happened to my hatchet? Uh, I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some diamond axes. Actually, I'm probably gonna make two. Or well, I have 20 levels. Maybe I should just make one and go enchant it. That's what I'm going to do because today is a special day. We are going to be doing a lot of building. Well, Nathan has already been on the server doing quite a bit of building on the uh, the apartment circle uh, in uh, over over by the barn. And it's coming together quite nicely. And today he's going to be finishing it. And I thought to myself while we were on the server and he was uh, building, I thought, you know, I should really make an episode of this because otherwise, uh, you know, it's kind of a little, an oh, I need lapis. I need lapis. It's just a little anticlimactic to come over and say, look, we built it all uh, off camera. So I thought, you know, what I will do is I will tweet out on Twitter. I did hashtag bookcraft Q&A and I asked for some questions and I received a whole bunch uh, silly questions and questions just about uh, bookcraft in general. I'm trying to. Oh, perfect. Here's all my lapis. Uh, and so we are going to be answering the questions while Nathan is building. I am also going to be chopping down trees, which is why I am making this axe. Uh, I know what you're probably thinking if you watched the last episode is that I wanted those trees there for the park. But I actually think that what needs to happen is I need to get rid of all the trees so that I can clearly see. Okay, unbreaking one, efficiency one. Well, I kind of want both of those. I wonder if I do the unbreaking one if I will also get efficiency. Nope, I just got unbreaking. Hmm. That's not exactly what I wanted. I was hoping for, uh, since it was a higher level enchantment, I was hoping for both. Do I have anvils down here, don't I? I suppose I could combine. Let's just make another... I want to make a great pickaxe. I've got the levels thanks to my time in Hatchet. And I've got the diamonds thanks to the diamond mine in the 21 balloons. So, we might as well... Uh, make really nice tools, which is great because in, in the world of dog craft, I do not have very nice diamond tools and I do not have a diamond mine of Krakatoa that I can go to. Uh, and speaking of dog craft, actually, I'm doing, it's sort of a little bit of a crossover situation because uh, I'm about to reach 101 Dalmatians in the world of dog craft. So that's why I decided that I should build things in book craft 
from the 101 Dalmatians. Uh, see what I did there? 101 Dalmatians versus the 101. There's a little bit of confusion in the last episode. The Disney movie is 101, and the book is the 101. So, Unbreaking One with Efficiency One. Ooh, oh no, oh no, what can I name this? Oh no, what did we name our sword? Were we going to name it the paper cut? But the tree is kind of like the paper cut, isn't it? Because because it's cutting down, okay, hold on. It's cutting down wood, which turns into pages of books, paper. No, sugarcane turns into paper, but you still need, hold on. You need wood to make like bookcases. Paper cut, should I name it paper cut? The paper cutter. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I haven't said this. What was my bow? The hole puncher. So we got the paper cutter. That's perfect. There we go. I don't think I need you right now. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and take, I guess I should go say hi to Miss Reads a lot. Hello, Miss Reads a lot. How are you? know what? Okay, that's fine. That was enough. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and take the train over to the apartments and you will get to see what I'm talking about. Where is, oh, here it is. I've put it here. Uh, let's go ahead and get in that. Right, here you can begin to see the facade, oh, that would have been a good word of the episode, have I used it before though? Of the apartment complexes and how they're coming along. <gasps> they look so great, we're using uh, mostly quartz. I need to jump off here, goodbye minecart. Have fun on the roller coaster. I need to branch off the train track somewhere along here, uh, over the park and to the apartments. Uh, but anyway, big jump, let's go down and see if we can find Mr. Nathan one day. Nathan, are you? <gasps> Hello, I saw you, I saw you, <laughs> hi. hi. Look at this, it looks amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, there was a really funny comment. I don't know if it was meant to be funny or just really sarcastic, but remember when I told the story about how I knocked my front teeth out on the cobblestone and I said that the chiseled quartz, the top of the chiseled quartz reminded me of cobblestone? Yeah. Someone wrote, you know what else looks like cobblestone? What? Cobblestone. Mm. <laughs> Which we have used here for the actual road. And then <laughs> the chiseled quartz is more for the sidewalk, which I think looks yeah. so pretty. This is looking really, really cool. I'm going to add, I'm going to add doors, of course, and some more flowers. Um, what are you going to be working on today? I'm going to be finishing the last three walls, uh, left, right, and back, as well as maybe starting separating them. Oh, right. That's right, because we said there's four apartments, and we really only need one of them uh, to be for the Dearlies. Now, technically, this is a little bit of an artistic license, because in I believe in uh, the movie 101 Dalmatians, they live in kind of a, a, a row house like this. And that's sort of why I built my birch apartment in Dogcraft. But in the book, they actually live in a house. Uh, but they go on walks with their dogs past an apartment like this. But anyway, one of the apartments will be dedicated for them, but then the other apartments uh, are for Nathan and P-Dog and uh, Jasper to do with as they please. Let's go ahead and make it permaday, I think. Right. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cheat, but we are going. It's going to be just terrible if it's nighttime. Uh, so let's make it permaday. Although I did need some go. bone meal. That's gonna oh. be. That's gonna be tricky. Um, hmm. Why don't you make it? Try to set it now to night, but just before the sun's coming up. So maybe like twenty-one thousand, Nathan. That ought to do the trick. Ooh. Ooh. That's good. Frightening. That's good. I'm going to look around for some skeletons to try to get some bone meal so that I can grow some peonies. Do I have any peonies in my inventory? No. Where, where did they go? I thought I had one. 
Uh, anyway, you go ahead and get started on what you are going to do. Sorry that you have to build in the dark. The sun will come up soon enough. Uh, but I am going, uh, I'm going to get some bone meal so that I can get the peonies. And then I'm also going to be chopping down these trees, making some doors, and hopefully starting to extend the train. Uh, and then, you know, feel free to ask me any questions while you're building, and I'll come check in on your progress. But mainly, I'm going to start answering these questions that everyone tweeted for us. Please die, creeper, get away. I got a bone. Nathan confirmed I got a bone. So I can uh. get some. I, I've, I don't think I've ever done that trick that you were telling me about where you bone meal a tall flower. Oh, there's another skeleton. Perfect. Uh, is the sun almost coming up, Nathan? Soon, um, hopefully. Well, well, Stacy, daylight cycle's turned off. Oh, okay, well, make it day then. I got the, I got the bones. I got the bones. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh, come over here, skeleton. There you go. All right, I've got plenty of bones. Okay, so the first question, Nathan. Will they burn before they get to me? Nope, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, no, Nathan, oh, no. water. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. <gasps> Baby zombie, why? I'm hitting you with my new axe. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, question number one comes from Gen X Fab, and it says, This series is the most creative Minecraft series I've ever watched. How did you come up with the idea for it? Uh, first of all, thank you. That is a huge compliment. Uh, the way that I came up for the idea for Bookcraft was that I was on another server that was a group server that you probably know of uh, that was called The Cube. And I realized while I was on that server that I actually liked building a lot more than I thought I did. I built a really awesome house and a cat cafe and uh, like a mule shop. Um, and I started to think, you know, I would like to build a lot more in Minecraft 1.8. Uh, because in Dogcraft I do quite a bit of building, but it's on 1.6.4 and it has mods and I really liked building on um, On the snapshot. Oh Nathan, can we update Bookcraft when the new snapshots start to come out? Probably really yeah, all right well, that's cool. Uh, anyway, so uh, the reason though that I started my own world was because I realized that I actually didn't, you know, didn't own the cube. It wasn't really my map. Uh, it could crash at any moment. It could become corrupted. Uh, someone else could want to build something right where I wanted to build. None of those things really happened, but I just thought if I'm going to be building lots of things, I should probably, ooh, apple. I should probably have it be my own world. Uh, and so that's when I decided to create my own single player world on 1.8 version with no mods. And then from there, I was thinking, well, I don't want to just build similar things that I already built before, and I don't want to build things for animals because that's what I do on Dogcraft. So then that's why I thought of the idea, well, what if I build things from books? Because uh, I'll never run out of things to build. So that's how, that's a very long answer. I'll try to keep the rest of the answers uh, a little shorter so that this isn't an hour long episode of <laughs> uh, Bookcraft. But that is the reason that I came up with the idea for the series. Oh, Nathan, has a horse moved in? I do believe he has. Hello, horse. Ooh, this is looking cool. I like I like what you're doing. Kind of squaring it off. That's nice. Yeah. Nathan, can you set it to per permaday at like uh, maybe 5,000? Sure. So that it's not perpetually dusk. There you go. Love it. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to put these doors on. <laughs> Hi, horsey. Let's go ahead and put a door here and a door there. Uh, Rose Noble DW says, Stacy, how do you come up with all these fantastic books for the series? Well, the books are already there. <laughs> I just pick them. Uh, and really, they are books that I loved as a kid. Okay, Strawberries on Twitter asks, what inspired you getting a build team? Um, I would say that what inspired me, I'm gonna go look for peonies, by the way, and collect all my saplings. I would, say that, I would say that time inspired me to get a build team because the thing of it is is I would love to try to build things all on my own but they wouldn't turn out as good and like you saw the 21 balloons w was taking like 30 episodes. Um, we would be very very behind and 
basically I would just do Bookcraft and none of the other series on my channel uh, would ever get done because I would just be doing that. So that's really what, what the reason... I think I chopped down all the peonies but then somehow lost them. Oh, Stacy. I'm going to go back to the station because I know that there's peonies there and I can do the bone meal trick, which I'm still skeptical mm -hmm. about, Nathan. I don't know if it's going to work. You can do oh, it, I think Stacey. I see some peonies right up here. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that was what inspired me to get a build team. Um, ooh, okay, so A-Y-Y-E-S-U-H. Not sure how to pronounce that, but they ask, what is your favorite build so far in Bookcraft? Nathan, that's hard. Oh, gosh. They're all, like... Not to brag, but like, I like them all. Like, they're all nice. <gasps> it does work! You get peonies! Yeah, told you. Free pe- is this a glitch or is this like purposeful? No, this is purposeful. Well, I know, but like, this is not how you get flowers in real life. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Okay, favorite build in Bookcraft. My goodness. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to think through what- Oh, my goodness! You've got the station, you've got the the teepees, you've got the globe, you've got the raft of life, the Moroccan house of marvels, the barn, which I love, the the new apartments that we're working on now. I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, the whole fair, which is pretty epic, but then you've also got the balloon wreckage. Let's not forget, never forget the balloon wreckage. The glorious balloon wreckage. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think my favorite build so far, I love them all, but I think my favorite so far is the the fair. Hmm, it's a good one. What about you? Uh, probably the globe for me. Really, the globe? Yeah, I like that one. Emily00152, do you have your next book? Uh, I do have my next book. I have my next several books, and normally I do not reveal the book uh, until uh, it's time to start it. However, I am going to be doing something uh, soon where I'm going to reveal the 2015 Bookcraft Summer Reading List uh, so that people can either download it or request it from their libraries um, or whatever. So I am going to be announcing probably the next like four books, I would say. Um, or four or five possibly. And I'm not going to say like what order they will be. I'm just going to say like these are books that we will be doing this summer, probably going into the fall. Uh, but then after that, I'll go back to kind of keeping it a bit of a secret. Uh, Madam Cupcake 18 says, Stacy, what is your favorite book and why? Uh, and Nathan, what inspired you to build amazing things in Minecraft? Um, so what is my favorite book and why? I think I would have to say that my favorite books are the Harry Potter books because they're just so, they're just so darn epic. Uh, Nathan, favorite book and why? Oh, favorite book, gosh. I have a few. Um, there's a series that I read in elementary school called Seekers, and it's by Aaron Hunter. It was about these polar, well, a polar bear and two other bears who uh, went on this adventure to find like better lives. Cool, I have not heard of it. Um, <laughs> and I don't think I can get out of here actually, now oh, that I've come down you. here. Wait one second. <laughs> oh. Thank you. you uh -huh. uh, okay, and then also, Nathan, what inspired you to build amazing things in Minecraft? Well, I've always been sort of like an artistic person, and so when I got Minecraft, it just sort of came like naturally for me to, to build, because it was just another platform for me to do art on. And before Minecraft, what did you primarily do? Um, I drew a lot, but I also did a little bit of digital art, and I was also on another gaming community that was all about, like, being creative and creating things. And what was that? A uh, Little Big Planet. Cool. Okay, next question. Will you be having any more dogs in Bookcraft? As far as tamed wolves, like Dog Ear, this will be the only, like, Dog Ear is the star of this show. There is going to be no other tamed wolves in Bookcraft. I pretty much get a new dog, I think, every episode in Dogcraft uh, because I have I breed a Dalmatian every episode, and then if I'm not doing that, I'm going to be going and, and finding new breeds. So it really doesn't make sense to, to keep adding uh, dogs in Bookcraft. Uh, I like having just dog ear be one of a kind, a one of a kind mongrel, uh, but I will say that there might be a wolf 
There was a wolf in the hatchet, but there might be a, another wolf coming during the summer reading list, and there might be a few more horses. Which a, a bit of a hint. Gabby Amirez 134 asks, when will Bookcraft end? Nathan, when oh will my. Bookcraft end? When we run out of books to use. <laughs> exactly. When we, I have no ending in mind for Bookcraft. Like some of my other series, I obviously have like endings in mind. But for Bookcraft, it's one of those series that I think could go on for as long as I do my gaming channel. Um, I don't see any reason to to end the series, and I definitely love doing the series. How come there's not a uh, How come there's not a window right here, Nathan? Oh, that's well. No, there still could be. There you go. I helped you. Space, I helped you. What? No. What? 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 Why isn't there a window there, Nathan? It's gonna be a wall, Stacy. It's gonna be a wall? Yeah. Okay. I'll leave the building to you. Okay. okay. If if I need if I need a window there, I promise I'll put it back. Okay. All right, guys. There's an update to that last answer. Bookcraft ends now. Okay. I'm just kidding. Next question. Elf Alice wants to know, do you mind Nathan being in creative? Yes, I have asked him repeatedly to go into survival. He keeps going into creative. It bothers me so much. Um, no, I absolutely prefer it because none of these amazing builds would be here if we were still in survival. Like, look at how much work he's already done uh, on this. I actually envy him being in creative, and this is a little bit of, I'm, I'm just given all the spoilers. Uh, I'm going to be starting another series, hopefully later this summer, uh, and I'm going to be in creative. So, there you go. I'm just, I couldn't, I was too jealous of all of Nathan's fun. Dom Rocks 117 asks, when did you first start talking to Nathan? And I'm pretty sure that Nathan and I have different answers for this. Um, and by the way, I need to go get some mushroom soup. Uh, I would say that I first started talking to Nathan. I believe he tweeted me about his map, Mesa Valley. And that is when mm -hmm. I first started talking to him about uh, recording on Mesa Valley. Uh, but Nathan, mm -hmm. do you have a different a different take on that? Well, I consider that the first time we really started talking, but we interacted for the first time in the comment section on one of your dogcraft videos. And I had no idea. What what did I say? Um, the comment was about Wink going to the Nether, and you were agreeing were agreeing with me about how it was suspicious that he was oddly homely, uh, homely, homey in the Nether. <laughs> By the way, why do I have a water bucket right here? Let me pour this water down in here, uh, because then I can come over here and grab some milk. Because I actually have poison effect on me right now. And there, I oh, healed nice. myself. <laughs> I ate some rotten flesh. Anyway, oh, okay, next question. Blue Katarina asks, will Grazer ever help you build on Bookcraft? Um, oh gosh. I don't think the question should be, uh, will Grazer help you build on Bookcraft? I think the question would be more, could Grazer help me <laughs> build on Bookcraft? Because not to throw Grazer under the bus, but I'm just going to say, if you look at Cube Season 1, I would say that I... I definitely did more builds uh, than than Grazer did, or maybe he oversaw more builds. But <laughs> I would say that I would say that I did more builds, so I don't know if I would ever have him help me build. Steven with two N says, "In the build, is the build team going to stay with the series?" Nathan, please stay, please stay with the series. I don't think we plan on leaving, so I mean. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, you got it right from Nathan there. Ryan C. Schultz asks, "What was your first impressions of each other?" Ooh, good question. Ooh, like this horse is. Impressions or uh, like no, I think it just means like yeah, I think it just means like what was your first impression of me as a Minecrafter? And I'll I'll say that my first impression of you, uh, when you said that you had a map that was set in the mesa, and it was all about, you know, being in the Mesa and it was like a Western themed map. I just assumed I was being punked because I was like, who else likes the Mesa? No one else likes the Mesa in Minecraft. I happen to think it's like the most magical biome. And here was someone saying, I've got like a, an amazing adventure map set in the Mesa, which I had never seen before. And I had been looking too. And 
Uh, and you can have you can be the first person to play it. And I was like, this doesn't. He seems like he might be lying to me. <laughs> that was my first impression. My first impression of you was that you were the best Minecrafter I'd ever seen because you're the only YouTuber who played Minecraft that I'd ever watched. Yeah, is that true? You were like the first Minecraft YouTuber that I like actually watched. That's so. Oh, I just broke my shovel. Nice. That's so strange for me to think about because I definitely don't think of myself as like one of the original Minecraft YouTubers. So it's weird that to think that for a lot of people they might have started watching me. And if so, I'm so sorry mm. and thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for putting up with my newbie ways. Kawaii Hoodie asks, do you guys have any bloopers or outtakes? If so, <laughs> can you show some possibly? So, Nathan. Yes. We do have some bloopers. We do. We do. I, I've recently started saving a few. So please enjoy these outtakes of me and Nathan filming Bookcraft. Does this have to do with the next book? Yeah, I think you're going to like it. Okay. What uh, is uh, it? Uh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> <gasps> That's an airplane! A dog ear! What are you doing on top of the airplane? What's a magic word? Please? No, 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 you already said that. Hatchet? Good enough. Lego. questions geeky panda 2 says what was it like when you first met nathan uh. <laughs> so i met nathan in person for the first time recently we went to we went on a tour of pixar studios in mm -hmm. uh san francisco california which was pretty cool um mm -hmm. and it was how what was it like it was he was so much taller than i <laughs> thought he was going to be i'm not used to people being taller than me uh, and so it was quite, it was quite upsetting. That's what I'll say. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm still processing. And then processing. when I met, me meeting you for the first time was really awesome too, because I had been working with you for a few months then, and it was just neat to meet someone who I considered an internet friend, like in person. Yeah, like I said, it was awesome. Just like Nathan, yeah, yeah, I said it was awesome. This horse, do I have a horse like this yet? This is quite the, the stunning, oh, look at that. The stunning steed. Uh, his eye patch is on only one side, and then mm. it's not on the other. So cute. That's adorable. Next question. Mossy eye. No, moss. Moss eyes. Nathan, how long have you been building? Uh, like a year and a half. Okay. And then let's see here. Rick Bill Robin one. Can you make another series with Nathan? Well. Funny you should mention that. That's my garage door. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to keep it in at this point. Um, funny you should mention that. I am making another series with Nathan. Nathan, did you know that? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So it's probably not the traditional way that you think. Uh, but Nathan is the mastermind behind the Mesa Valley adventure map that I played with Parker. And he is currently building the second installment of it. He's heading up. The whole build team is working on it. And that's going to be coming out hopefully later this summer. And that, I would say, is technically uh, another series. Now, you might be thinking, well, no, I meant a series where, like, Nathan is talking. But technically, like, that is a true collaboration. He is creating the map and the story. And then I am going mm -hmm. to play it. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mikey to go to. Nathan, do you have any real-life pets? If not, what would you like to have? I don't at the moment. When I was younger, I had a pet turtle named Leonardo for certain reasons. 
Uh, <laughs> I think we but, can guess those reasons. Yes, we can guess those reasons. <laughs> uh, but uh, we gave him away because we couldn't maintain his tank. It got really like really nasty, and we couldn't keep cleaning it like every day. And so we gave him away. And if I could have a pet now, I'd probably want like a, a small dog. Cool, like, like, a, like corgi? a corgi. <gasps> yes. Jinx. Uh, you owe me a, uh, an orange soda. Grape soda. Orange. Fine. C Raspberry asks, "Are you going to invite any other people onto Bookcraft, like Joey?" Uh, I would say that I would not invite Joey because I like the builds that Nathan has built. <laughs> if you've watched any of my other series or adventure maps with Joey, he tends to like TNT, and I think that Nathan has spent too much time on Bookcraft to uh, to have it blown to bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, there definitely could be other guests in the future. I've had guests in the past. Uh, I kind of like to have people come on that, you know, are avid readers. Um, so I think that there could definitely be guests in the future. Uh, I'd love to have my friend Margot from Epic Reads come on. Uh, that's a guest mm -hmm. that I've been meaning to, to ask. Anyway, next question. I can has mustache. Have you read Joey's new book? So Joey actually wrote a book and I have kind of read it. I was staying with him a couple of weeks before it came out and I had uh, a few hours to spare at his house. So I grabbed the copy that was lying around and I read, uh, I read most of it, but I kind of like skimmed through some parts and I was at the airport the other day and I saw it for sale in the airport and I didn't buy it because he had told me that he had mailed a copy to my house. Uh, and so I was like, well, I'm not gonna buy it if it's waiting for me at my house when I get back. Uh, but he hadn't sent it yet, so I still haven't read it. Um, but I will read it cover to cover uh, soon. Probably, I have already probably have before this video comes out. JJ Lamb asks, would you ever do a young adult novel in Bookcraft? So I think what he is saying is that some of the books that we've chosen so far, you would consider either elementary or middle grade. Uh, and a young adult, he would classify more as like middle grade slash high school uh, or YA books, like, like what I did with Epic Reads, um, all of those kind of books. And I will say that I don't think, I would never do a book that is like, crazy huge at the moment like you know the hunger games or maze runner or divergent uh because they're all being adapted to movies and so i don't think that that would necessarily make for the best uh book craft episode so i don't see any on the horizon but i will say that uh there are some books coming up there's one in particular that i'm thinking of and nathan you know what it is but do not say mm -hmm. there's a book coming up for towards the end of the summer or the fall that i wouldn't even classify as a ya book or a kid's book i would classify it as like an adult book um or like a it's, it's like a classic it's a total total classic um do you know the one i'm talking about i do so there is a book coming up that will challenge readers. Uh, it's gonna challenge me, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find the time to read it. Uh, it's not super, super long, but it is definitely like a classic and not like a children's book. By the way, Nathan, I'm not, I've been running around for like the last five minutes. What are you up to? I've been building, Stacy. I know, but what specifically are you working on at the moment? I'm working on the roof. Ooh, what should I be doing? Um. Ooh, I'll I make another shovel. I'll make another shovel. Well, I added some peonies. You already had the tulips. I think that they look nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a diamond shovel. I forgot that I have uh, some extra diamonds. Anyhow, hmm. let's get back to the questions. We have a few more. Garcia Adeline. What is your favorite book growing up? Oh, Garcia. I can't answer. Oh no, oh no, I made another diamond shovel. Daisy. I didn't mean to. Daisy. Oh, I have 10 rose bushes. Should we add, do you think that'll be overkill? I kind of like the pink and white color scheme. Um, the rose it? bushes, I should probably, oh, I'm, I'm so silly. I know what I'm meant to be doing. I'm meant to be clearing out this grass and cutting down these trees. 
uh, for the park. Uh, I think the rose bushes will play heavily in the park. I'm going to save them for that. Uh, I cannot reveal my favorite book growing up because it's a book that we're going to build in book prep. It is probably the book uh, that I am the most excited and the reason that I, I really, really wanted to start this series is this book. And I don't want to give it away just yet because we probably won't be building it until I would say maybe closer to the holidays. Uh, and it was my absolute favorite book growing up. I read it multiple, multiple times. Nathan actually is also a fan of this book, which mm -hmm. was so random because it's a popular book, but it's not like a crazy popular book that everyone has read. And so when he told me that he had read it too, it was like, oh my gosh, that is the book that literally inspired Bookcraft, along with the 21 Balloons actually, because that was just so perfect. There's like, you know, diamonds and a volcano and lava, and it just definitely made sense for Minecraft. But this is the book that I have been the most excited to plot out the builds. Uh, and it's my favorite childhood book, so I can't, I, I can't reveal what it is. I can't. Mm. I just can't. Uh, but I Damn. will say that it has been guessed multiple times. Multiple times, In yeah. the comments, uh, which is really, really funny to see because, uh, people are always trying to convince me to do that book, and it's like, oh, oh, we will. That is <laughs> the reason I have yeah. this series. I just kind of wanted to, like, get it started and get the world built first. Uh, because it's, I would say that it's probably going to be the book, it's, Nathan, what do you think? I would say that it's going to be the book with the most amount of builds that we've ever done so far. Definitely. It yeah. has a lot of things we can build. I think that you got rid of my staircase. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. Anyway, Nathan, um, uh, favorite book growing up that you can reveal? Uh, probably, oh, wait, we might be doing this book, too. Oh, I think I know what one you're talking about, and we might be doing that book, too. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> K is meh. What were your five favorite Dr. Seuss books? Um, five oh, is a lot. I'm going to say what is your favorite. What is your, like, one or two favorite Dr. Seuss? Nathan, favorite Dr. Seuss book? Green Eggs and Ham. Really? Yep. Predictable. Uh, mine is called I Wish That I Had Duck Feet. Oh. It was my absolute favorite. My mom read it to me all the time. Um, and that is my favorite. And then I also like one that's called I Had Trouble in Getting to Sala Salu. Excuse me? I Had Trouble in Getting to Sala Salu. Everyone what? always raves about all the places you'll go, but you should look up I Had Trouble in Getting to Sala Salu. It's one of my favorites. It's actually quite long for a Dr. Seuss book, though. Um, mm. But it's really funny that because uh, alliums in Minecraft, I always uh, joke that they remind me of Dr. Seuss flowers. They just they? look like something that would be in a Dr. Seuss book, like a, a perfectly oh, purple little <laughs> ball. Next question. Oddball is me says, are you going to do Harry Potter ever? Um, yeah, Nathan, I think after this you should build Hogwarts. Maybe like, do you think that'll take like a day? Nice working with you, Stace. <laughs> <just going away. laughs> no, come back. Um, yeah, so I don't think, I think it's safe to say that we will never do Harry Potter uh, on Bookcraft just because it would be so incredibly hard and there are people who have built amazing Minecraft maps uh, dedicated to Harry Potter so I really don't see a reason uh, to to take that on because I couldn't just I couldn't just pick one book I would have to do all of the books and then that would just be called Harry Potter craft it would take like seven years <laughs> uh, okay let's see danger girl go go die oh uh, That's what was sick. your favorite subject in school and how did you get through your least favorite subject? So Nathan, why don't you go ahead and go first? My favorite has to be either, uh, either history or science because I, I enjoyed both those subjects. But uh, my least favorite was math, definitely. And I got through it with willpower. <laughs> yeah. So my favorite was probably English. This is embarrassing that I'm admitting this, but when I was like uh, in middle school and, well, I would say like when I was in ninth and 10th grade, I never read the assigned books. 
Oh. Ever. And it made my mom so mad because she's a librarian and she loves to read and I love to read now, but when I was that age, I sometimes didn't want to read. And I remember she'll never let me, she'll never ever forgive me for not reading a book called The Yearling. Uh, which was on my summer reading list between 8th grade and ninth grade and she thought it was the most beautiful book It's all about a baby deer. I've been meaning to go back and read it now that I'm an adult uh, But I didn't read it and she was really mad at me uh, But then by the time I got to be like especially a senior I really really loved English I always loved English just because you got to write a lot and that was always what I loved doing um, so even though I didn't read all of the books I would write all the papers and boy my neighbors are just going going places today uh, in mm -hmm. their garage and that's just great guys that's just fantastic <laughs> um, and math oh math me and math <laughs> Uh, math was my least favorite, and I don't think that I did get through it. I literally, I failed a math class when I was in high school, and I had to take it over again. And oh. it's not that I necessarily couldn't understand it, it's just that I really didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. So whenever the teacher was speaking, I would just take out my notebook and just start writing. And, and just get lost in doing that. And then I would get home and I would pull out the homework and I would say, well, this doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> because it was something that the teacher had taught in class that day. And so then I wouldn't be able to do the homework and then I'd do really bad on the tests. Um, and I, yeah, math was definitely my, my worst subject, Nathan. DK Rolicky, are you coming to Pittsburgh anytime soon? Which is super random, but actually I wanted to answer it because you know what's funny is that the only two times I have ever visited Pittsburgh in my life is when I was visiting the movie set of a book to movie adaptation. Really? Yeah, so if you didn't know this about me, before I started making Minecraft videos, I was a writer and I would write articles about uh, teen books and movies and TV shows and music. And part of that job uh, was that I would get sent to movie sets and I would get to go visit them and then write about my experience and take photos. And the first one that I went to in Pittsburgh was for uh, a book called I Am Number Four, uh, which turned into a long series. And then the second time I was in Pittsburgh was actually for The Fall in Our Stars, and I got to hang out with John Green for the day. Oh, fun. Uh, but no, no plans on coming back to Pittsburgh anytime soon, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but I do really like it. I liked, um, oh, you know what you would like there? The, um, the cable cars that go up the mountains. They have these, like, these tram, like, trains. Uh, they're mm -hmm. called, I think they're called incline cars. Mm -hmm. um, that just go like up the steep mountains and yeah. I always like kind of weird transportation like that that still exists in the US like I remember whenever I go to Manhattan I like to go uh, ride the Roosevelt Island tram because you just don't even really Google that Google Roosevelt Island tram in Manhattan uh, there's like this gondola basically uh, in the middle of the city Beep ya! dang it <laughs> Um, okay, next question. Vanity and sanity. Will you ever write a book? Nathan, will you ever write a book? Oh, it's for me. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll write a book. I'll say yeah, sure, why not, too. I don't know if I would ever have the time to write a book or the patience to actually finish it. Uh, but I do have an idea for a, I have an idea for several books, but I have an idea for one, like, epic trilogy. Uh, but it's just sort of like, if I were to focus on that, then I'd stop playing Minecraft, I think. <sighs> uh, or I'd have to scale back playing Minecraft, so I haven't really... Uh, tried to make a go of that at all, but I would love to in in some alternate universe where I have way more time I would love to write a book Anna Donegan 9 on the last episode of bookcraft. Will you invite viewers to explore the server? Uh, and I think that that means when the series is totally finished Which is hard to say because I don't have a plan to finish the series anytime soon yeah. um but we do invite people on periodically at the end of books when there's like a group event. So like when we had the Raft of Life on 21 Balloons or 
when there was the fair uh, in Charlotte's Web. We didn't do it for Hatchet. Um, and I don't know if there's really a group event for 101 Dalmatians, but um, we do have people on from time to time. Uh, and then I, I don't really want to say this because I don't want people holding me to it, but I cannot, I can't imagine if the series were to end for some reason, I can't imagine not releasing the map. Yeah. Not before the series is over, but if it's, if it's really, really finished, and that's just hard to think about because I don't know what reason that would be. Um, mm -hmm. But if it really was finished, I can't see why I wouldn't want everyone to be able to come and explore all of the cool builds. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's really the reason that we're doing the, the train, the way that we're doing the, the train on Bookcraft is so that you can go back and visit those worlds. Like, I don't really have any need to visit the 21 Balloons Railway anymore. Um, and I could have just, like you know, run over there or, or, you know, been teleported over there every time we were building something. But I wanted the station to kind of have all of these train routes eventually uh, for people to be able to log on and, and go on different little journeys. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, we have reached the end of the Q&A. Oh my goodness, you separated them! Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Oh, they're kind of. They're kind of small. I like this. Yeah. This come is nice. The next one. Um, which one? Which way? Th this one. Oh, okay. This, this one. Coming to this one. <gasps> I see red blocks in your hand, Nathan. Red linoleum. Oh, this <laughs> looks so cute. I love the combination. Is that red stained clay and red wool? Yep. I love that. I never would have thought of that. So this <laughs> is perfect. This is from the book. Uh, when they describe the kitchen, there's red linoleum on the floor, which was our word of the episode in the last episode. Uh, now, Nathan, I think it also said that there was blue and white stained china on the wall, and that there was also, let's see here, it had white walls, red linoleum, and a dresser on which was blue spotted china. There was a new fashioned electric stove for the cooking and an old fashioned kitchen fire to keep the nannies happy. Mm. That's page That'll 12 of my copy. Anyway, so this is great. The only other thing that you need to do here that will come into play in a future episode is a, uh, like a cupboard under some stairs. Because that's, that's completely doable. That's where Mrs. has the puppies. I thought it was Perdita first. No, there's no Perdita, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is... Whoops. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of Bookcraft. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A while Nathan was building. And we will see you guys next time. Nathan? Yes? Where's Dog Ear? I don't know, Stacy. We'll find him soon, okay? Okay. <sighs> I miss him. All right. He's a good dog. Until okay. next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.